Hello everyone, my name is Tantake100 and welcome to the Okami Squadron channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make panels limited to only open through NPCs or make it so that you can open them even through just normal commands, but also through the NPC. This will be a little bit shorter of a video, but if you guys enjoy it, please leave a like, consider subscribing to watch any of my future videos. I hope you all are having a great day and let's jump on into it. So to start off this video, I am using citizens for the NPCs. You can use other plugins, but I'm going to be showing you how to use citizens for this. I'll be explaining exactly how it works so you can actually use this in other plugins that have NPCs, not just citizens. But if you're following along word for word, it might not work if you're using any other plugin. But to get started, we are going to just make a new panel. We're going to call it NPC panel one. And for this one, I'm just going to make it so that they can access it using a command and through the NPC, just as it's the little bit more simpler version of this. But I'm going to go through, set up this panel just to be the base file and not have any of the extra stuff we don't need. Okay, so now that we have a basic panel, all it is is NPC panel, command is example or slash example to open it. And then just one item in it since it does need it. This will just be a quick little example on exactly how to run the command. Not really anything that has to do with a panel. So now that we have this, we can go in game and I can show you how to set it up. In game, do slash CPR and then you can do the command. For me, I just change it to example three. And now you can see it says NPC example and hello. So the panel does work just using a normal command. We can also do slash CP and then NPC panel, just like that. And it'll come up so you can use either command. But now we'll set it up so that it also works with the NPC. So this NPC, I have it selected. You just do NPC select. And make sure you're standing next to the one NPC you want to set the command for. Now that you have that one selected, all you have to do is NPC command add. Don't forget the add part. I do it all the time where I forget that and then have to retype it. But you do add and then we're going to do CP NPC panel, which is the panel name I did. And then we're going to do minus P. What the minus P does is it runs the command as the player. So if the player does not have permission, it won't actually open. But press enter, you'll see it says was added. And now if we right click, it'll open up the panel. So for this, you'll be able to use the command to open the panel as well as now the NPC to do it. But maybe you want to make a panel specific to just NPCs so that you cannot access it using any commands or anything like that. If you want to do that, you're going to have to do a little bit more work, not very much more. But you'll also want to make sure you have the latest version of command panels installed due to the fact that this came in a very recent update. As of the recording of this video, it was only one update ago that this actually came out. But it has to do with command panels being able to force the player to open a panel or technically force the server to open the panel for the player. So now let's go set this up. So inside of this panel, what we're going to want to do is get rid of the commands so that there is no command to actually get into this panel. So right now there's only slash CP. But now we want to get rid of slash CP so no player can do that. To do this, all you have to do is panel type and then dash no command. What this does is it completely disables the slash CP command to get into this panel. It won't show up in there at all. If you have like the command section we had before and also have no command, it'll still be accessible using the custom command, just not the actual CP command. So now if we go into game, we do slash CPR. Now if we right click this, nothing happens. There's nothing that wants to open. It's not going to work. So now for this purpose, I am going to remove the old command. So we do remove and then zero, just like that. It removes it and right clicking still does nothing. So to make this so that only NPCs can open this. So if we do slash CP NPC panel, you can see it's not there. If we try the command, nothing happens. So to set this up, we're going to do the same thing as last time, NPC command add. And this time we're going to do the same thing. So CP, the panel name, NPC panel. And then instead of minus P, we are going to use the caret brackets, whatever you want to call these triangle brackets, caret brackets, we're going to use those. And inside of it, we're going to put the letter P just like that. So it's NPC command add CP, the panel name, and this little thing right here. So with citizens, this right here signifies that it's supposed to be the player's name in the command. So this will run the command through the console with the player's name at the end of it. So if we add that and then do it, you'll see it opens perfectly fine. 
So if you are using any other plugin, as you can see, it says CP NPC panel and then my name, if you're using any other plugin, make sure that that plugin can also do the placeholder of the name for the player and make sure you run the command through console. So this command again is running through console. The one we did before is running as the player, which means the player is opening the command panel on the original one, which means if they don't have the permission, it will not open. But with the only NPC accessible one, or maybe you just want to set it up so that the NPC runs it through console, then you just do CP panel name and then the little carrot thing. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. It's a little bit shorter of a video, but can be super useful for any of your servers if you want to set up NPCs to do things. I use these on a lot of my servers and I'm very glad this was a new addition to the plugin. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really helps us out and helps this video go around in the algorithm. If you guys want to see more of my videos, consider subscribing. Links to the command panels, wiki, and discord will be in the description as well as the citizens plugin in case you want to use it. I'll also be leaving a link to our website in the description if you want to check that out. There's a few free panels, for command panels in there that you can download anytime, change, use, do whatever you want with them. I do not care, but those can be very helpful for doing quick little setups. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.